So I guess given the timing, let me actually start with the question number three, because that is the challenge question. And I will tell you that um, I don't think I have ever had a question, student who got this question right, um, like completely right, the way you see it in the model um, uh, solution, right? So let me see if, uh, what kind of answer um, ChatGPT gives. Challenge question for an astronaut traveling to a star this distance away at you to type this in three equals zero point nine nine C and returning spending negligent time at the destination. Describe the journey um, not to uh, simplify the observation. You may assume that the quality answer that allows for um, uh, and I'll uh, add a note for the benefit of ChatGPT. Otherwise, um, remember that we distinguish between observation and uh, or observing and seeing, and uh, using observing to mean um, um, to mean description of a physical picture after accounting for speed of light signal delay as in um, any effect that you end up uh, describing it's a, a real effect it's not just a, oh light took this amount of time to get to us that's why we think it's this when it's not really no 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 no. we've already made a correction and after making the correction what you observe is what we are describing with the observing so yeah all right let me see if ChatGPT gets it right. So the correct answer is, uh, as the astronaut observes Earth, astronaut observes time dilation on Earth, as in the, all the processes going on on Earth should be slower. Um, let's see what ChatGPT's answer is. I gotta read it. So suppose an astronaut travels at a speed of that. Mm. Astronaut framework reference. Really? All right. First, let's consider the journey from a perspective. It's 10 light years, so yeah. traveling time dilation comes into effect. Yeah, that's an Earth frame description. From the outside, time would appear to slow. Uh, okay, let's keep reading. This means that although those astronauts would only experience a few years of time on their journey, many years. So. This is just simply describing the Earth frame perspective. Um, astronaut, as the astronaut observes Earth, they actually see Earth slower as well. So let's see. To be more specific, let's assume that the astronaut space is equal to the clock. That, uh, they are not using Ansible, which annoys me, but as the, they would observe the time on this appears to be passing normally. Okay, that's good. Uh, time on Earth appears to be passing, yeah, more slowly. Yeah, this means that when they, uh, you know, after a few years, but it, no, no, it's the other way. If uh, Earth clock is slower, that means when the astronaut clock, let's say, counts to one day, Earth clock, the slow clock, wouldn't have counted a day yet. So if uh, it takes astronaut, I don't know, uh, two years to get to the destination, their personal subjective time. The Earth time would have passed even less amount of time, maybe half a year. That's what they should observe. When the astronaut turns around and returns to Earth, they would observe the. Yeah, they don't do that. Um, yeah. So uh, now they might see this. Uh, this would be uh, where there's a kind of um, you don't do this correction for the speed of light delay. So let me actually show. Yeah. So the. Um, yeah, and this part is all boring. Um, yeah, yeah. So, ChatGPT definitely didn't get this right. And that's frankly because uh, there are a lot of other physics. Um, one, the way we are using the phrase observing, it's really specific to us or, you know, Griffith who introduced the phrase that, that I'm using. And, um, I've seen, I, 
from watching YouTube videos, I've seen um, kind of, uh, I've seen this. And uh, let me describe where this misunderstanding could be coming from. Let's uh, imagine this a simplistic view, uh, one where you treat your travelers as dumb. Um, so this is the earth frame axis and I'm going to draw a reference for the, this is the kind of, this is the light world line. This is how a world line for something that is traveling at speed of light. World line for the spaceship would look something like this. Um, oh, by the way, world line for earth. Uh, let me do that first. It, that's super easy. Just a straight line this way. This is my, this is earth or Earth Observer, um, just uh, staying at the same spot in frame as forever. And the spaceship's reference frame would look something like, or spaceship's um, word line would look something like this. So it's somewhere in between, you know, at rest and moving at speed of light at some time, which is destination. So I guess we are saying this is the distance of 10 light years and then returns. Now, the tool that I really want you to have so that you can fully understand uh, special relativistic scenarios is the how the Lorentz transformation appears on space-time diagram. So let me show you the uh, time and space axis for the astronaut. So this uh, trajectory of the astronaut as they are moving along the um, this trajectory. This actually represents the city prime axis. This is the time axis for the astronaut. And if you go through the you know, whole geometry of space time, the x prime axis looks something like this. It looks like a kind of a mirrored version of the time mirrored over the uh, light world line. And this, is what I would call line of simultaneity. And what I mean by that is along this line, we have t prime equals zero. So all the points along this line happens at the same time from the perspective of the astronaut. So when the astronaut reaches here and looks through the ansible, see what the Earth looks like, um, the line of simultaneity that goes through this event point has to be parallel to the x prime axis. So these are the set of points that um, the that astronaut considers to be simultaneous. So at the moment when astronaut arrives here, the so the um, Earth observer will think astronaut arrived there at this time. But when astronaut looks back at the Earth frame, what the astronaut observes through the Ansible is this point here, a way earlier point. And this is how to reconcile the fact that Earth observer thinks astronaut's clocks are slowing down or going slower, and astronaut also thinks that the Earth clock is slower. And they are both right because their sense of simultaneity is different. What they consider to be simultaneous with this event are two different events. And when the astronaut has turned around, then this is how things change. So the space-time axis um, that we had associated with astronaut moving away from Earth, that's not the correct space-time axis anymore. Uh, I need... Um, so let's see, let's uh, do it around this as a kind of new origin-ish. And you would have a kind of the light world line that's going uh, at 45 degree angle. This is the light world line. Um, and uh, I shouldn't have done it, that's all it might. So this is the light world line. And the new space-time axis for the astronaut returning to Earth, it we use the same rule. So this axis will be your CT prime axis. And the X prime axis would be this reflected over the light world line. So the X prime axis would look something like this. 
and this x prime axis still represents the line of simultaneity. So the moment right after the astronaut turns around as they observe the Earth through the ensemble, what counts as right now, the point that's simultaneous with this event, is right over here. See how there's a, this big skip here? That's, um, that's what helps you reconcile, okay, whose clock is really slower. And as the astronaut is turning around, their sense of simultaneity shifts. So that what they used to think was right now on Earth is no longer the same thing. It's this that's right now. But, you know, look at the entire remainder of the journey back. Earth clock is still moving slower. Um, it, it, it's just, uh, you know. So that is the correct description. Now, for the chat GPT description, for this to be correct, or whatever, whoever physicist gave this description that's in the training text, uh, for them to have been right, really what they are thinking of is they are not dealing with all this Lorentz transformation stuff. They are looking at this um, really simplistically, almost from the perspective of a super dumb observer who not only don't really know about special relativity and um, time dilation, they also don't know that light takes some time to travel between locations. So they don't think to correct for um, the kind of the, the delay time for the light. So this is, so for, to help describe perspective that super dumb observer, let me just draw a few of more of these light uh, world lights. So this is the light that left at the same time as the spaceship. It outruns it, it almost immediately. And here's a light that left a little bit after the spaceship. It uh, meets the spaceship over here. So as the spaceship looks back at Earth, this light is what the uh, astronaut would see. Um, see, not observe. And going, keeping doing that. So the light that left here will is what the light that observe, the astronaut sees as they are arriving at destination. But now watch. This light didn't happen at the same time as when they arrived. This light left 10 years um, um, or some number of years before this, um, the, what they consider to be right now. And let me just draw a few more of these on equal interval. And what you are going to see is that, you know, the number of these light world lines that cross the astronaut observer, that doesn't change. So um, the kind of the, the final reconciled picture is, you know, on Earth about time of 20 years has passed. And that's consistent with all these lines. And the reason they are saying this, that as the astronaut turns around and returns to Earth, they will do observe the same dilation, time dilation effect in reverse. Um, time on Earth would appear to speed up. And really what they are looking at is when you uh, count these uh, number of, so you know, I divided up this time interval into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight intervals. While they were moving away, they only saw one, two intervals. And the rest of the intervals, one, two, three, four, five, six, they encounter it, they see those lights as they come back. And so uh, th that's the way you can describe, uh, give a correct physical meaning to what they're saying here. But um, it's a weaker description. It's a more confusing way to describe special relativistic scenario because it's totally not the case that depending on what direction you are traveling, time dilation effect is either goes one way versus the other. No, no, no. That's a very confusing way to describe time dilation. And this kind of thing only happens because this astronaut here is, again, super dumb. Not only they don't know special relativity, they also don't realize that the light they are seeing, it only travels at a finite speed of C. That if you are 10 light years away and you see a light coming from 10 light years away, it, it took the light 10 years to get to you. Um, so so um, from that super dumb perspective, 
this might be correct, but that's not the perspective we use. Um, we use when so that's why we use the word observe because whenever we say observe, we are giving um, some we are giving credit to our observers that they are smart, that they are able to correct for the signal delay effect, and after correcting for those spurious effects, um, what they what remains is the true physically meaningful effect. Now, it's not simply uh, appearance thing. So, yeah. yeah so, ChatGPT got this wrong. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm out of time. Let me just do the remainder quickly. I'll just, uh, um, yeah, this challenge question again, um, I don't think I've ever really seen people get it. Um, and I would imagine a lot of, um, I, even um, people who are good in physics, like physics professors, either they would be careless of how they state their answers, or they might actually get it wrong. Um, yeah, so, okay. Does this round trip take the... Yeah, all right, uh, let's see if ChatGPT. So this is the kind of, it's a kind of similar to the challenge question, but it doesn't ask the challenging question, which is what does the astronaut's point of view look like? So, uh, so ChatGPT will probably get it right more than 20 years ago. Um, I mean, longer than 20 years technically, but like a fraction longer because the spaceship is moving at a speed less than speed of light. I don't think this answer is based on that. It somehow seems to think that, um, yeah. So, yeah, if I had asked like how much more slowly, then I'm pretty sure this answer would have been wrong. Um, and this answer here. Less than 20 years. Yeah, I, I guess I'll give it credit for this. It's not, um, that, that's why I ask the challenging question because <laughs> that's the one that gets at really the detail of did you truly understand the setup or are you, you know, have you memorized some good sounding answer, like which is basically a typical chat GPT answer? Um, that is like, okay. Does it alter the rate of uh, no, uh, so A is wrong. When the um, astronaut looks at his own clock, he doesn't notice anything different because his clock is stationary clock for him. B, what change in the rate of Earth's round clock? Slowed down, yeah, slowed down. That's the time dilation. Does it measure the length of his trip to be shorter? Yes, length of contraction, yeah, that's correct. Uh, does it measure the distance in line, the duration of motion to shorten? Yes. Um, in fact, that is kind of C and D. I guess the C is somewhat ambiguous, shorter in time duration or shorter in distance. Uh, either way, it answered, it answers yes. <laughs> so for D, no is wrong. Uh, so astronaut actually, yeah, th that is just a misapplication of uh, length contraction. Um, so, and this is just a wrong statement of length contraction. It does not affect the distances perpendicular to the direction of motion. It affects the longitudinal distance. Um, and then this is right. Okay, this is a very confused answer. Um, so this third sentence gives the correct answer. The distance between the two stars in the direction of motion would appear shorter to the astronaut. Yes, that's a statement of the length contraction. And does he and I agree on this? Yes, they agree. Uh, they agree on the relative speed of the astronaut. Now, if astronaut fired something, then relative speed of that, they don't agree with each other. That's the whole velocity transformation. But... Um, so earthbound observer sees the astronaut moving away at whatever speed they are moving. And the astronaut sees Earth receding at the same speed. Uh, it's like the same uh, mutual speed. So, so yes, they agree on their velocity relative uh, to Earth. So, 
Oh, yeah, so I'm kind of happy that ChatGPT did do very well on this set of relatively difficult, challenging special relativity questions, which, you know, makes sense. Um, ChatGPT is a B minus student at best. And <laughs> these are the questions that, you know, uh, B minus students would get maybe half right. So that's what I expect to see.